Amounts of radioactivity from a small source are not easy to measure or quantify. There are three units used in this measurement. The first and easiest to understand is the Becquerel, named after the man who, jointly with Pierre and Marie Curie, won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of radioactivity. This unit defines the activity of a source. If one nucleus within the source decays every second, then this is one Becquerel. An activity of one Becquerel would be very low, and therefore for most purposes, multiple units are used. The problem of using a detector, such as a Geiger counter, is that the detection area is quite small. If a particle from a source enters the counter, then that is recorded as a single click, as a single count. But as you can immediately see, many of the particles, most of the particles, are going to miss, particularly if the detector is held further from the source. So the detectors are good for rough measurements or comparisons if the detector is a fixed distance from the source. But it is hard to make an exact quantitative measurement and the unit doesn't discern between different types of radioactivity. The three most commonly occurring types of radioactivity are alpha, beta and gamma radiation. If you should want them, there are links below to video explanations of the properties. Two other types of possible radiation are the positron, or beta plus, although that's fairly rare, and the neutron, maybe from fission reactions. The energy delivered by each as they interact with matter is significantly different. The unit, the grey, is a unit which takes some of these differences into account. One grey is defined as the absorption of one joule of radiation energy per kilogram of matter. To give you a very brief and shallow concept of what this unit might mean, an abdominal or chest x-ray is likely to deliver around about 0.7 milligrays. A whole body exposure to 5 grays or more, tiny in terms of energy, the 5 joules of energy per kilogram would barely notice a raise in temperature, but that is quite likely to be fatal. Extending that further and concentrating on the effects on the human body, the sievert is a unit supporting the measure of health effects of low levels of ionising radiation on the human body. It is the effective dose helping to quantify the risk of damage and consequent disease. It is directly proportional to the grey measurement by a factor Q which varies depending upon the type of radiation and the part of the body. To explain further, alpha radiation is much more dangerous to organic material than beta or gamma. Due to its size and charge, it is far more ionising and therefore causes far more damage. A further complicating factor is that some parts of the body are more vulnerable than the others. For example, the ovaries may be 20 times more vulnerable to radiation than the skin. So here's one example. We use the equivalent dose in sievert to consider the danger of local, low-level exposure to different radiations on different parts of the body. For example, one gray of alpha is 20 times more dangerous biologically than one gray of gamma. And as I've mentioned, the risk to the ovaries is about 20 times greater than that to a patch of skin. So if this patch of skin and the ovaries received the same number of gray exposure, but that of the skin was gamma and to the ovaries was alpha, the total biological risk and therefore the equivalent dose in sievert would be 20 times 20, that's 400 times greater. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.